What's up YouTube? Welcome to my video on how to do it yourself LED navigational lights. If you're ready to jump in and rebuild your bass boat to make it a lean mean bass catching machine, well then you've come to the right place. I'm Donnie C and let's get started. Let me just start off with a lot of my videos are me trying to be funny. Me and my brother acting like goofballs or you know dummies but I'm going to try to be quick with this one. I know y'all are working on your bass boats and I don't want to jump through the hoops when I'm trying to work on my bass boat. So let's get to it. Someone asked me how I hooked up these LED running lights out here on the old nitro. It was pretty simple. I ordered the lights off of Amazon. Um, I think I got the $30, $30 specials. Great deal. I wanted some that had like a little cushion, like some of them were super thin and I didn't like it. I wanted something that felt like it was solid and these really feel good. I'm very happy with them. I'll try to find the link and I'll put it down in my description, but I ordered a few different kinds. I have some that I'm going to put on the, the trailer rails down here so when I'm driving at night it kind of helps me see the boat and it's kind of like running lights but those are a little bit thinner I'm not I'm not as worried about those as I am these ones on the boat that are going to be riding rough and who you know these are going to be taking a beating they're going to be in the rain and the ones on the trailer are going to go through the water but they're going to be in there for a second you know the boat's going to protect them most of the time so I just think these ones needed to be a little stronger and a little more durable uh, so I'll go through the steps with you on what I did and then I'll show you everything broken down so the first thing I started with is I stood at the very front of my boat and I guesstimated all right where's the very center and I made a mark with a pencil I'm surprised it's still there um, but oh well made an inch mark just because that was a round spot and that's I didn't have a flexible tape measure mine's stiff so I started with inches where I could get it pretty pretty exact and I was able to go to two inches all right well I did that at the bottom just to get an idea of where I was gonna line up and actually what happened was, was on this nitro this lip right here exists and that's where I wanted to put the lights. And I'm glad I checked on this other side because there is no lip. And that is why, that's one of the reasons I don't like nitros, but I love this boat, just not the brand, but whatever. So, same thing on this side. And that's when I noticed there's no lip for me to put the light there. So I moved it up to the top. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but I did the same thing. And I think I did 10 inches on both sides and so over here there's more uh, they're very hard to see I did it on the rub rail and I cleaned it up after that I thought I cleaned that up but so I drilled my hole I lined it up and that's where I put the light I didn't actually drill my holes until I was done doing this I uh, I lined up my lights right on my mark all right my wire was hanging down on the ground because the wires these came with were like 10 feet long. Did the same thing, lined my mark up, stuck it on there, all right? You wanna make sure you clean the surface really well before you do this. It's adhesive and it comes on the back of this, on the back of these lights and you don't wanna ruin it by putting you know dirt on the back of that adhesive instead of gluing it to your boat. I opened up this column right here I stuck my arm up as far as I could, felt around. I could feel the very tip of the boat, the very bow. I found a drill bit that was the same exact size as the wire. I mean, I'm talking about like I wanted to barely get that wire through there. And so when I got the wire through, I, you know, I 5200 it. all right now that we're inside of the bow 
these are my two wires for my lights these are the wires that the lights came with all right there is like five feet extra i only saved about three feet i could pull it all out but i got it all zip tied up so it won't get tangled these two wires that i'm holding this gray and this black one that's coming from the battery that's actually coming from the console where my switch is okay it has a third one i'm not sure where that third one goes i might be a relay we had the we had bass pro shops rewire the boat and this one's dead so this one's on mine that does nothing yours might be something else but double check because you might need it you might not um i stripped these wires back as little as i could um like i said these connectors these females these red ones that are on the boat wire those were those had these females already on there heat shrinked and so why mess with something if it's not you know broken so i just heat shrink these males like i said earlier and i just disconnected them from here and uh this is the exact existing light switch and i didn't cut that because if i ever have an emergency where my leds are not working i want to be able to you know fix that real fast and that was all it took it didn't take me but 15 minutes to wire up the boat this is everything i used except for the drill and the drill bit i used to drill through the boat um use a screwdriver to take apart the, the bow use these to strip my wire and to crimp my uh my males on i use some male adapters i'm not sure what size those are i ordered all of this off of amazon these i mean you can see 250 piece set i think i paid seven dollars for this for this 580 pieces keep all of it in the back of a tote i think everybody needs to have one just a bunch of random tools anything that you might need for the boat anything you might use for anything i'm very happy with the way they turned out other than the fact that i couldn't get them under the rope rail these things are bright these things ain't no joke the next project i have is replacing this trailer axle i'll uh try to do a how-to on that